Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about two simple secrets to draw every ball. All right guys, so let's talk about two simple secrets to draw every ball. Now before we dive in, we just got done filming a draw every ball masterclass. It's our latest masterclass on how to draw every ball. And we paired up with my friend Steve Siraki out of Woodcrest Country Club. And we talked about everything from setup to backswing to downswing, really laid things out for you to draw every ball. So if you're someone who hits a slice or you've been trying to draw the ball and can't, I'm telling you, you guys are gonna love this program. Super simple to follow. Now we're gonna talk about part of that in this video, but if you do wanna see the full program, we'll include a link in the description down below. I hope you guys check it out. All right guys, so let's talk about how to draw every ball. Now, part of what we've been wanting to do over the past couple of months and what we're gonna do moving forward is bring you guys the best of the best. I'm happy to introduce you guys to Steve Siraki. Steve's here, we're out at the Woodcrest Country Club. We just got done filming Draw Every Ball and we wanted to show you guys really the two big secrets, yep. right? That we work with golfers with um, in the golf swing to be able to draw all the balls. So thanks Correct. for coming out, part thank one. Yeah, thank you. And uh, Steve's gonna share with you guys, right? Some of the things that we just talked about. And um, why don't we start with the setup pieces? Sure. Right, to start with, and then yeah. we'll, we'll get into part number two. You got it. So I'll do my setup pieces. So if a golfer came in, Steve, and he said, hey man, I wanna draw the golf ball, right? Let's sort of hedge our bet, let's stack elements to be able to do that. What are some of the things at the setup position that we would talk about? Sure, so starting with the ball position, the first thing I would be doing if they couldn't draw the ball or make any of the balls curve to the left, yep. I would start putting the ball further back in my stance that hedge our bet. Got it. And the further back we would put the ball, the more that would make the swing path or the swing direction go to the right. Got it. That'd be the first piece. So, then, so yep. if I wanna go, if I wanna go Let's, let's say as a reference point, right? Yeah. If I was gonna go stock, sort of from, from face on, yep. um, you're looking at somewhere near like left eye, left ear, in front of sternum. So I would say like stock. Stock would be right about where, where your logo would be, or just behind the logo, I would say for a stock shot. Got it. And then but if I wanted to create the draw. We'd put it further back. I'd go a little farther back, got it. So I, I wouldn't go more forward. No, no, right? back. Okay, so I'd go, I can create a draw from normal, but I wanna hedge the bet, we go back a little. Correct. Cool. So that would be number one. Then number two would be keep putting the handle more forward and more upward. And you can see how now there's an angle, more of an angle yep. between the arm and the shaft. Got it. Which is allowing the path also to go more out to the right. And as you raise the handle up more, we're adding a little bit more uncocking or ulnar deviation in the left wrist, yep. which helps close the face to the path. And so as a checkpoint for that, um, let's say maybe neutral would be like inside left thigh, yep. something like that. And so we're going a little more forward of that. Yep. Potentially. And then vertical. Correct. Right of it. And so in terms of the butt of the club, are we looking at maybe like even or above the belt line? Above. Like that, above the belt line. Above. Right. If we're sick and tired of slicing, above. Right, right. We want to hedge our bet, right? Right, yeah, that, yeah. Just, Yep, got it. So the ball position is neutral to back. Yep. The handle is forward and up. And up. And that starts normal. introducing some owner deviation to the left wrist, which helps close the face to the path more at the setup. Now, as I'm doing this, my club face, I'm keeping that more or less kind of facing where I'm where I'm going. Yeah, I mean, it's you're almost pointing it like just at the target yep. because once again, we're trying to curve all the ball. So having the face either at the target or even slightly left of the target would be okay just to get the sense of how to keep the face closed to curve the ball to the left. And part of what we did in our program in terms of drawing all the balls, right, is like if you have a hard time curving them left right. or if you've been curving them right, do the pieces and maybe overdo, overdo them. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. to be able to create the curve. So as we look at some of these pieces, do this, and if it's not curving up, go even farther. Yeah, right. It, We're right? trying go to put this thing to the max right now. Yeah, exactly. So balls back, handles forward and up. Yeah. And now with the body positions, we want the shoulders to be closed. So if I got in here and I started really twisting you, yeah. you can see from the down the line that there's a gap right here that Eric's left arm is above his right and his right arm's bent. And also the right shoulder is going backwards and downwards more from the caddy view, from the front view. And that's putting in a little bit of like a rightwards tilt yep. in his spine to also help him swing more to the right. And now I feel, Steve, when I'm doing that, my, my, my right arm's a little kind of more bent and underneath yep. with my shoulder going back, right? Yeah. That's gonna want my grip pattern to be 
you know, more towards neutral stronger. Right, I'm glad you said that because as we start changing the body alignment around, that actually has an effect on how the hands are positioned on the club. So as we put the handle more forward, more up, start pushing the shoulder back and down, that starts, starts to strengthen the grip. So the V's, the V in the left hand and the V in the right hand are pointed to the right or even outside the right shoulder to keep closing the face more to draw the ball. And, and, and again, for these elements, stack them up, right? Yep. If you're someone who's used to feeling, you know, ball forward, handle back, weaker grip. And keep doing that. Yeah. People think this is funny. This is how people set up to the ball. Right. This is, Weak this is normal grip, people. handles back, face is open, shoulders are open from down the line. This is normal what we see in the lesson tee every day. Yeah. So now do the opposite. Ball's back, handle forward and up, twist the shoulders, which strengthens the grip. I mean, this is the complete opposite of what you just did 30 seconds ago. And this this feels as I'm doing this, like my hips want to be a little more forward. Yep. This feels like I want to have a little more pressure into my lead leg. Correct. It feels like, ironically, I'm going to draw the ball from there. Right, you're right? going to draw the ball and definitely swing out to the right, pushing and drawing the ball. And so secret number one, and it is a secret for a lot of people legitimately, yeah. is setting up to the ball a certain way, right? Absolutely. And before we get into part two, I can, I'm going to just hit one or two like this, right? Sure. Just to feel those set of pieces. And for me, it feels like I don't need to do anything from there to be able to create it. It's, it's built in. It's built into you have the it set built of pieces. In. So the ball position is neutral to back. Yep. My handle's forward and up. Yep. I feel as though from here, my face is still neutral. Yep. That's Shoulders good. back a little, right? Yep. And now from here, I'm just going to hit a little half one yep. and just trying to get the ball to curve to the left. Perfect. Yeah. That nice. was a solid shot for me maybe 100 yards or so, the yep. ball drew nicely, didn't feel like I had to do anything, but there's some pieces we can talk about at step two to make it even easier. Correct. Cool. Okay, so part number two, after we do the setup, because um, it's good to get that setup piece, but we really yep. need to make sure that we introduce a couple of things or at least maintain a couple of things on the way back. Correct. So really secret two or part two here is the initial takeaway or sort of first half of the backswing. Yeah. Right? So if I take my setup pieces, let's talk a little bit about what am I trying to accomplish during the initial takeaway to be able to get the ball a curve to yeah. the left, right? So once again, the ball is back, the handle's up and forward. The big things here on the, on the backswing, let's first touch on the, the hand pad, how it yeah. has to go in. So from the beginning of the setup to about halfway back, a little, a little shorter than that, the hands move inwards. Yeah. And the more that the hands begin to move inwards, like they're almost feeling like they're touching your right pocket, yep. that helps the golfer to start swinging back and through on an arc so the club would come down from the inside. Yep. So the hands moving in on the back swing be the first step of one, right? starting to draw the ball. And so the I'm, second, sorry, again. Yeah, and, and, and just for there, right, like in and maybe really in yep. would be better than any kind of straight back or, or, or up and out, Correct. right? We need to Correct. create an inward motion Correct. of the hands. Like the Correct. And Correct. then I have my face alignment. Yep, right? which we go back to the setup. Putting the handle forward and upward at the setup is already giving you that sensation in the left wrist. It is, yeah. And you keep that same sensation from the setup to where the shaft's parallel to the ground. If you keep that alignment the same, you yep. can see how there's a little bit of a bow in the wrist right there. Yep. And you can see how the face is close to the path. That's one more thing you could see. You see how right here, the club is actually In. behind your left forearm. Yeah. And you can see how the hands are ahead of the club Love that. by this uh, angle right here. And so I've got some depth on the way back. And then really most importantly as I'm doing that, my club face, right, if, if we need to draw the balls, yep. the club face needs to be close to the path. We said that a hundred times yep. in the program. Yep. And so making sure that the face is at an appropriate place or angle in the first foot or two is the best way to be able to ensure that. And yep. like you said, if you set up this way, it's I'm really just maintaining that. Just keeping it there. Right. It, but Steve, let's say I'm someone and, and for whatever reason I start doing something else. I can start to feel maybe a little bit of the logo a little more down. Yeah, logo down. Right. If you have a watch on, watch to the ground. Yep. The face, the face feels like it's pointed down towards the golf ball. Perfect. Up for that when the shaft's parallel to the ground. Those would be a couple easy checkpoints to do. And if we do the setup in that piece, the whole secret here that you said there is it's built in. I don't have to do anything later on to be able to create it. No, no form we're, rotation. No, no. We're, we're hedging our bet. Yeah, love that. So let's go ahead and do one. And so I'm going to take my normal setup position, the ball is neutral to back, handles up and forward, face is neutral from there. I feel that my shoulders a little bit more back, a little more closed. Yeah, back and down. Compared to normal. And then from here, 
Um, and as I do that, I can feel as I'm closing my shoulder, again, my, my hips and pelvis hips are moving forward. a little more forward. Yeah. Yes. And then as I'm working down here, I'm maintaining these wrist angles into the initial phase, face is pointed down a little. And we're just pushing them out yeah, there. Yeah, the shorties, right? So feel that here. Another draw. Nice. And um, again, I don't mean to sort of beat the same drum over and over again, but I really like how when we're doing that and build that in at the address and backswing position, there's not a lot of things I need to do during the downswing because we know there's so many golfers who A, set up poorly, or B, take the club away, and then you have to do so many things. There's, there's no chance, really. They have to, have to do so many things, like you're saying, to correct it, and it's already set up and they did their takeaway wrong they really don't have much of a chance to hit it good or draw it from there awesome so if you guys are interested in more in terms of learning how to draw every ball steve and i put together a program it's very detailed and in-depth gives you actionable things to do to actually create it if you do the pieces properly the ball is going to draw steve Correct. told me confidently a couple of times oh, we yeah. right through there and it worked for me as well it's going to work for you we'll include a link down the description down below now if you get the program you're interested in more we'll put steve's information also in the description if you guys want to check out Gorgonal golf so we can see your golf swing that works as well hopefully you guys enjoyed this steve thanks for coming out yeah you got it thanks for having me and if you guys have any questions as always leave a comment down below hey guys thanks for watching today's video if you like the video do us a favor click the like button down below click the notification bell also please subscribe thank you guys